Yesterday, I wanted a breakfast burrito. Today, I'm eating a breakfast burrito. Follow your dreams. Hey, everyone, Mark here, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're making breakfast burritos packed with some really good ingredients, so good, and I would say it's kind of healthy. Are those gummy bears wrapped in a fruit roll-up? Breakfast burrito, but yeah. Healthier than a fruit roll-up gummy bear burrito, but now I kind of want to make that. This recipe makes two large burritos, but you can sneak in a third depending on how you stuff them and the size of your tortilla. The ones I'm using are 10 inches. Let's start by removing the casing from two hot sausages. With a knife, just slice a quarter of the way down the sausage to cut open the casing. And then just remove the meat and we're gonna crumble the meat into a pan on medium to high heat. As the sausage starts to cook, you wanna break up the sausage meat as much as you can with a wooden spoon you wanna try and get small crumbles. So just keep doing it as the sausage cooks. Once you get a nice small fine crumble, we're just gonna to remove to a bowl and set aside. Then let's chop up half of a small to medium sized sweet onion. We are going to lightly caramelize the onions. In that same pan where we cook the sausage, we're just gonna lower the heat to low to medium and then add one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and one tablespoon of unsalted butter. Add the onions and season with salt. Mix the onions often until they soften and start to caramelize. This could take about 10 minutes. You can go longer and really caramelize them. But for this recipe, I like just a light caramelization. Once done, just place in a bowl and set aside. Grab one large avocado and you can see if it's ripe by removing the little stem. If it's green, go for it. You can also feel the avocado to see if it's ready. Slice around the avocado in half to reveal the pit. Place the avocado with the pit in a dish towel and just grip it tight. With the knife in your other hand, hit the pit in one motion. Twist and remove the pit. Then with your index finger and thumb, get right up to the pit on the knife and just give a nice pinch and the pit should fall right off. Then remove the flesh into a bowl, season with salt and freshly cracked pepper and a squeeze of one lemon wedge and then just mash with a fork. I don't go all full mushy, I keep a bit of texture still with the avocado. Cover and place in the fridge. Next I have old cheddar and Havarti. Both cheeses go great together and melt beautiful. The cheddar gives a nice hint of sharpness while the Havarti adds a nice creaminess. You wanna coarsely grate about half a cup of each and then just give a little mix. Any chunks left behind are yours to snack on. Then just place in a bowl and set aside. Crack five eggs into a bowl and season with salt. Give a whisk to beat the eggs. And then in that same pan where the sausage and onions were cooked, we're just gonna bring it down low to medium and add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. You can let the butter brown a bit if you like and then we're gonna add the eggs and with a spatula, keep the eggs moving with long strokes in the pan. We aren't going for a soft scramble, so no need to make short, fast strokes with the spatula to create small curds. But honestly, scramble your eggs however you like. Once the eggs are about 80% done, I'm gonna add the caramelized onions and the sausage crumble and just mix everything together, continuing to cook the eggs until I'm happy with them. Always warm up your tortillas just so that they become more moldable for wrapping, but also to warm up the fat used in the tortilla. Just watch it because you want to warm the tortilla, not toast it. We'll do that after we stuff them. Now we can build our burrito. You can build it however you like for your desired distribution purposes. I'm placing some cheese down, then the eggs, then some avocado mash. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I like my bomba sauce and use it a lot in my recipes. So add some of that or any hot sauce or hot spread you like, and then finish with some more cheese on top, obviously. So I have two ways to show you how to wrap a burrito. Option one, I have the filling on the bottom half of the tortilla closest to you. Fold the bottom of the tortilla up and over the filling while pulling back towards the bottom third of the tortilla. Make two folds on either side of the larger fold and roll nice and tight to complete the roll. Option two, place filling in the center of the tortilla and then fold both sides in and over the filling. Fold the bottom half over the filling, tucking in the filling and keeping it as tight as you can. You really need to fold tight, keeping everything tucked in to complete the roll. We're not done yet though. We wanna give a nice seal of approval. So in a pan on low to medium heat, we are gonna to toast the tortilla, warm up the filling and melt the cheese inside. If you have something to weigh the burrito down, that helps with browning, but it's not necessary. Once toasted, that's it. It's breakfast time. Everything in here is just perfect. And the bomba sauce, 
just tops it. And I love the caramelized onions. So I hope you give this a go. And as always, the full recipes in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.